Hello and welcome everyone. Today I am pleased to announce a brand new version of my original software, the Sonification of Digital Image Pixel Data, version 1.2, with a redesigned user interface and additional features. Today I will show you how to download the software and guide you through a tutorial so that you may be successful in using the software and additional features. To get started, navigate to my website, ryanstutzman.org, then click on Library. From here, you may select the Macintosh or Windows version of the program. Once downloaded, launch the application from the desktop. It may ask you for permission the first time. And here we are, the brand new user interface. We'll start with step one, image import. Click a button to select and load a desired image or use video import. I'm going to select this black and white image of some synthesizers. Two, choose a playback waveform. I'm going to select a simple sine wave. Gain and volume control. Click the start window to hear audio, click stop to stop the audio. Click and drag the volume slider up and down as needed. I'm going to click start window and I'm going to drag my volume slider up about a quarter of the way. Step four, the pixel button matrix. Click or click and drag on a pixel on the matrix. Observe how the oscilloscope changes. I've selected this pixel and we can now both see and hear the representative waveform. Now I will show you a click and a drag. Pretty fun. I'm going to drag the volume slider down and click stop. Next I will show you the video import which is a very useful tool in both performance options, um, engaging interested parties, um, doing image capture of uh, a piece of art that you've created. So to get started, I'm going to click the open button to launch the computer camera. It may ask for permission the first time. Next, I will click the toggle switch to turn on or pause video playback. What's happening, everybody? As you can see, my uh, likeness has now been transposed into um, the pixel button matrix. And what I can do is press pause. And we can see that this has now created a still image. Um, I can imagine holding up a piece of artwork um, and pausing the image so that I may um, play with and hear what my artwork sounds like. Next, I will show you the colorized video playback performance option. Very similar. I'm going to click the open button to launch the computer camera and click the toggle switch to turn on or pause video playback. Now what this does is it overlays the color of the pixel that I have selected on the pixel button matrix. To show you a more dramatic option, I will um, go to the 256 bit color and choose, nice, that's a pretty rad pink, gotta stop there. Um, and let's hear what that sounds like. And you can see that both the sound and the color change as I move and migrate my mouse over the pixel button matrix. Very important. Um, moving on to the next steps, um, make sure that you press stop and most importantly, drag the volume slider back down. The start window and stop are global functions and um, I'll show you why that's important here on the next uh, next steps.
onto our additional features. Um, with version 1.2, I'm including a 256-bit color sonification calculator. This is essentially the opposite of um, the, the previous software in that we can now create our own colors. I can imagine people using something like Microsoft Paint or um, one of the Adobe Creative Cloud applications to create custom, thoroughly thought out compositions um, through calculated colors. So again, I'll take you through these steps. Should look very familiar. So we're going to choose a waveform for both scopes. I'm going to choose a sine wave and let's get spicy and, and choose a, a triangle wave here for the second. The first um, waveform is going to be representing the single color calculator and the secondary waveform is going to represent the triadic color calculator slash computer accompanist. Step two, turn on all three toggles. Start stop toggle for color calculator viewer. Here's our color calculator viewer. And we are going to do the same for our triadic color viewer right here. I'm going to hold off on the computer accompanist until the end because that's a, a pretty fun feature. Click the start window to hear audio. Click stop to stop the audio. Again, this is our global function. So if we left the volume slider up on the uh, color sonification software, we would hear audio here, but we've turned it down. So we're safe. <laughs> As you can see though, uh, we do have the representative audio happening up here, but we can't hear it. Let's start with the single color calculator. I'm going to increase the volume slider again about a quarter of the way. Next, I'm going to click and drag on the desired frequency block or type in a value to see my pitch represented as red, green, blue, or gray scale. So I'm going to click in here and let's start with a, a nice 442. I'm going to hit the return key and we can see this, um, this frequency represented as a single red, green, blue, or gray scale balance as a sine wave, of course. I can also click and drag. So that's our single color calculator. Next, I will show you the triadic color calculator. This works in um, a very similar way. However, it differs in that we can create custom triadic colors. Let's hear what this sounds like. That sounds very green to me. So um, that, uh, that essentially completes the tutorial on how to um, use the color calculator. Um, now I'll show you the additional feature of the computer accompanist. What this function does is it allows the computer to make its own choices for the red, green, and blue balances and create its own colors. Let's hear what it sounds like. This allows for some uh, fun playback options. I'm going to go ahead and bring the volume down. And why don't we go back to a sine wave and I'm gonna take over the triangle controls. From here, I can increase my volume and I can compose right alongside the computer. Pretty fun. Um, so I hope you have enjoyed the tutorial. I hope that you enjoy the software. Um, and as always, please feel free to reach out um, to me via email if you have any questions, concerns, or um, would like to see any changes made to the uh, user interface or additional features added. Thank you, and uh, hopefully we'll be talking soon. Bye.